Okay. All right. Well, hi, Liz Parrish. It's great to have you uh, on this interview. I appreciate you taking the time. And uh, you were at RadFest last year. So what did you think of it? What did you, what did you like the most about it? Oh, I really loved RadFest because it mixes all of the great things about life. So one thing is science. That's definitely extended our lifespan in the past, and it's going to extend our lifespan in the future. But why do we want to live? We want to live because of community, great people, great uh, support, and we want to live because of art. You know, So it has a mix of all of those things, and those are all of the things that move us forward into a long, productive life. So can you give us a, you know, you know, thank you for that. That's, you know, you, you have such a great perception of uh, radical life extension or whatever, everybody likes to call it something different. And what do you like to call it the most yourself? What do you, what do you like to call what we're doing together? I mean, I call it immortality, as you know. And of course, I also call it super longevity. Is you, do you have, a, you have a special name you like to put to it? Yeah, I just call it health. Oh, so, okay. you know, it, it's ultimate simplistic. health. <laughs> it's simplistic and people understand it. And yeah. the, the truth of the matter is, if you're healthy by any definition of health, what do you die of? Very uh, well said. <laughs> Very well said. Yeah, some people talk about, you know, dying healthy. I, I said, how do you die healthy? So that's very, thank you for saying that. Can you give us a very brief uh, idea then of the exciting new information that you'll be uh, presenting at RadFest? Something yeah, so I think that uh, during RadFest, I'm going to have a call to arms. Uh, it'll be my first talk that will say, as people, uh, what can we do as a community to move these technologies forward? You don't just want to learn about technologies. You want to empower yourself for what you can do to, to actually encourage these technologies to come to market much faster. And then we're going to have a couple announcements uh, that we're going to be excited about. And how BioViva might help you uh, learn to pioneer these technologies uh, sooner than you think. Wow, that is exciting. Wow, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm really looking forward to the time with you there. I know everybody is. What is the single most important reason that you would want to end aging and death? Uh, what, what's your personal reason? Well, aging and death is uh, inhumane. Uh, when we talk about biological aging, we talk about things like Alzheimer's and cancer, COPD, kidney failure, diabetes type 2. It is absolutely inhumane to have these diseases on the planet for a second longer than they need to be here. So we need to eradicate these diseases now. Yeah, well said. So why do you think that it's important then for people to attend RadFest? Do you have any feelings about that? <laughs> because actually you know we're looking at a, a, a triangle you know the the this this beautiful triangle of the future and one is health and the other one is the environment uh, these are two aspects of things that we need to create to create healthy lives but there's a third one that's even more important and that's community we need people to get together and to support one another we have enough bickering we have enough fighting we have enough people you know putting down their reasons why um, you know, things shouldn't happen or should happen or who they like or who they don't like. We need to come together as a world, learn to like each other, learn to get along and create the community that will support ultimate longevity. Wow, that's so true. That's so true. Yeah, it's so great that so many of us share that same feeling, that same thing too. That's, that's the power of I think of togetherness when we come together at RadFest. So, okay, well, the last question I have for you is how important is it, do you uh, think it is to have a united community moving together to end aging and death? Well, actually, that's the only thing that ever changes, um, has ever changed history. So when we look at disruption, it's very small groups. And I'm hoping that I'm part of one of those small groups that will change the future. But uh, we know that the ultimate adoption of technologies has to do with grassroots movements that actually move into a whole community. So the community the country, and then the world needs to get involved in uh, decisively ending death from the diseases of aging. For sure, for sure. Wow, wow, well said. So, um, yeah, we know we're going to see you in 2017, and well, how exciting you're going to bring some uh, new, a new announcement how to, uh, for us to do something for our extended life. So that's, I'm, I'm really excited about that. I know everyone will be. Is there anything you want to say uh, here to end this interview that you'd like to add? Anything that you didn't say you'd like to add to it? 
No, I just want to say thank you for, you know, all of your effort in putting this together and that I hope that people come out and uh, learn about the new technologies, come and meet us, uh, realize that we're real people and we want to make a better world and that they're an integral part of that, that it's not just us. There are no heroes. There's only us. So get out, get your ticket, come on out and, and help this technology move forward because without you, it actually doesn't work. Beautiful, Liz. I'll see you at RadFest. Thank you.